Studying endangered animals is a really massive job that sometimes involves travel through really tough terrain. So now with these small pieces of tech, it means that the work can be done from anywhere in the world. Hi, I'm Professor Kerry from QUT and the Centre of Excellence for Maths and Stats Frontiers. And I'm going to show you how we are virtually saving threatened species around the world. So to help these animals, we need to understand what's happening in the environment they live in and how we can help them to thrive in the right conditions. But to do this, scientists need to be able to see the landscape that they are studying. And this is where a little help can come in handy. We use computer-generated landscapes as well as tech like 360-degree cameras which take vision from every angle. We can then take these to the animal habitats and we're able to get a panoramic view of the entire environment. And then we bring this vision back to the lab where a software system stitches the videos together, giving us the opportunity to actually be in the environment. So using virtual reality glasses, you can look all around the environment like you're there. So as you move your head, the headset can show you what's in front, behind you, and to the side of you. So this means that experts from around the world can go into this virtual environment for their research without leaving the office. We, we used this technology recently to help study the population of brush-tailed rock wallabies in Australia. Their environment is rocky and inaccessible, so being able to create a virtual landscape means that ecologists can work with us to see if this is a suitable habitat. These animals are facing extinction fast, so any information we can get on them and their environment could help to save them. So as a statistician, it's my job to take the data and the information and to give it meaning. So I build statistical models about animal numbers and the habitats. These models will help to show how quickly the animal populations will decline. We can then use this new technology to allow ecologists to study what can be causing it. But it's not just animals in our own backyard that have been getting the virtual reality treatment. We've been filming environments for threatened species all over the world. We've been to Borneo to study the habitat of orangutans. We've travelled to Africa to research cheetahs. And we've captured coral reefs around the world. These virtual environments help provide new and rich data on the habitats of endangered animals. And this complements statistical models that have been built over the years of research. So my job's one of the best in the world. I get to use maths and stats to help save endangered species. And I get to play with some pretty cool technology too.